Good morning. It is like almost 11 a.m. This is like my fourth time waking up this morning. I just kept going back to sleep. I was planning to get up at like 7 to curl my hair, um, but that just didn't happen. Um, so I have three rollers in right now. Um, I'm gonna curl my hair as soon as I get out of bed because then it has time to like fall and not be super like ringlety. Yeah, I don't know what time we're going because we have to go early to line up because the concert is general admission. So we have to like queue um, and hopefully get a good seat. Um, but the concert starts at 8, so I don't really know when we're going to get there. But we're going to head downtown like really early and just keep walking past the theater and like keep an eye on the lineup. So I'm going to have breakfast and then we'll get up and start to get ready. Okay, I look like some sort of dinosaur with like horns, um, but let's get ready. I don't really know if this is actually gonna work out. So like I had, when I first started doing rollers, um, I always have one in my for my bangs when I sleep because that's different, but I did it for like parts of my hair and then I curled my hair and then obviously like this is like a blowout curl not even like a curl, just like a blow. And then my hair is like ringlets, obviously, because I use a wand. So it's like different. So I'm gonna end up curling these pieces anyway. It's just hopefully for more volume. Also, it's literally pouring rain. It's supposed to pour rain all day and we have to queue outside and I have curly hair and ugh, my outfit is a tube top and I don't wanna bring a jacket, but I guess I'm gonna have to bring a jacket and then put it in a bag, but I don't wanna be carrying around a bag all day. That's so annoying. So tonight is my first show to kick off the 2023 concert lineup. We have this today, July, and then we have to wait till July 28th. We have Boy Genius, which I'm so excited for. Like, you don't even know. That'll be my second, ow, second time seeing Phoebe Bridgers. Me and my mom saw her last year, and then we're seeing the band this year. My sister is joining us, which is exciting. And then August 27th, we're doing Cigarettes After Sex, which I'm excited for as well. I'm not really, like, a huge Cigarettes After Sex fan. Like, I don't know. I know, like, Apocalypse, Apocalypse Sunsets, um, like, K-Pistol. I don't know. I know the songs, but I don't know the names because they sound very similar. Like, that's not even, like, hating on them. Like, it's just a fact. Um, they all sound really similar. But I'm thinking that's going to be like less of a sing-along concert, more of like just like absorbing the music because I've seen videos of their concerts and it's just like a whole like experience. I'm really excited to see how this like concert kind of, oh, structure is. So I'm just going to talk about my different experiences at different concerts. So last year, my first concert that I'd been to since One Direction when I was like eight or nine. So like I didn't really remember that. So that was like my first concert, like of this new age <laughs> and it was Conan Gray and it wasn't like a stadium concert it was at a theater just like tonight will be um but like the music was really good and honestly I didn't really have oh I'm getting a call so yeah my last concert was Conan Gray at a theater and the like I was saying I didn't really have standards because obviously it's at a theater it's not gonna measure up to like One Direction which was at a stadium and like I was not expecting anywhere near that and the music was good but he didn't interact with the crowd at all like it was just like song after song and like it was good but but then um he like left I think he sang his whole set list but I'd seen at other shows that he would interact with the audience and he didn't and I was like that's weird and then I saw the next morning that he had gone to Olivia Rodrigo who was playing in Vancouver this same night to sing at her concert which I'm assuming is why ours was cut short and like he just like ran off stage like didn't like really like say goodbye or anything um because he was going to play with her um and I was like okay like that was a little disappointing but it was still a good show but then my next concert was Phoebe Bridgers in the summer and that was like it was also at a theater but that was amazing also like i'm a little biased because she's like my favorite artist ever but she talked to the crowd she was so funny um and her like 
she had like graphics um i'll put a picture but she had like graphics on the background so it was like a really whole like show experience this is not really working out how i love um this is the problem with having like short layered hair is that it looks kind of like zigzaggy whatever um yeah so that was amazing and then like three days later i went to the weekend which was a stadium concert and that was like incredible i can't even like like phoebe bridgers will like that concert will hold a special place in my heart because it was just like like the best night of my life and the weekend like i didn't really listen to him like that much but like it's the weekend like i went with all my friends like why not go and it was just like you can't even compare that to a theater concert because it was like insane we had like the light up wristbands the lights were like a whole show in themselves um and like there were dancers and everything it was amazing the weekend was like it was crazy um and i wasn't even that big of a fan but it was just like such a good night so that was my last concert of last year um i don't have any like stadium concerts boy genius is at um like an outdoor amphitheater so it's outdoors and it's like a big crowd not a theater but like it's not in a stadium so yeah okay sorry for the angle change it's time to take these out okay oh we definitely got volume okay i'll curl my bangs i will use a straightener to um make them like flip in a lot but i'll do that closer to before we go so then they don't fall out um this is just for now wow okay we're gonna leave this as is um take my hair out okay let's let this fall i'll update later this isn't very like greasy coated but like it's thicker heavier oh maybe i like that for waiting outside it's like warmer oh no i like this okay this is the outfit obviously we're gonna do jewelry but that's a later thing yeah outfit is chosen Okay, ignore my setting powder. I decided to go a little risque with my eyes. By that, I mean literally brown, like, bronzer. And then I used this chrome putty. When I bought this the other day, I thought it was um, a powder because I bought it for a highlight. And I didn't realize until I, like, dug my finger in it that it, like, sunk because it's, like, a putty. Um, but I don't think you can tell in this lighting, but it looks kind of weird because it's not like white or like gold glitter, it's like chrome, so it's kind of purpley. Yeah, I ended up redoing it. I took my mom's gold sparkle eyeshadow. Obviously my eyes are way darker than the rest of my face because I just only did my concealer base, but I think it looks really cool. So we'll hope this goes with the rest. This eyeliner is very different shapes, but that's okay. So ignore my bangs, it's like a fan thing to have black hair ribbons at Gracie concerts so obviously okay I think we're officially ready these bangs are so folklore-esque I like put little curls in them and then just kind of combed them out and I think they're so cute I also added a few tattoos I don't know if I like these two like right together but that's okay and then also this little one which didn't transfer totally kind of peeled off in the corner but that's okay um, I think they're really cute. My I always do my temporary tattoos from Inked by Danny. It's a really cute brand. She does like hand drawn little. Some of them are words. I always get the butterfly sets because I think they're really cute. But I love this um light or light bulb. Um yeah, I feel like they stay on pretty well. But I do put on hairspray and then setting powder on top. I feel like that makes them stay longer. So then we drove downtown and I love how my outfit turned out. So we took some cute pictures. You can follow my Instagram if you want to see them all. And then we headed to the lineup where we ended up waiting two and a half hours in the pouring rain. This is me showing off my bow because as expected, almost every single person in the lineup had one in their hair and it was so cute and just like a wholesome moment. Anyway, me and my mom would switch off holding the spot in the line to go get food or walk to keep warm. And eventually we did get in. I got my merch, which was actually really quick, and then we watched the opener, which was Tiny Habits. I didn't really know any of their songs, and they only had a few, but they also did a cover of Fleet Mode Mac, and they were so talented. It was literally beautiful. I love them, and I'm now definitely into their music. Also, I just had to show these girls dancing. Look how cute they are. Like, I had to take a video. That was so cute.
I knew the pre-show playlist would be amazing because Gracie fans are also Phoebe fans and Taylor fans, of course, and I was not wrong. Here is me jamming out to the songs before the show. Wow, that is a wonderful place to pause the video. Anyway, then Gracie came on and she was absolutely beautiful. Part of me wants to walk away till you really listen. 